Much of Alexis de Tocqueville's Democracy in America dealt with what he saw as the American character. Today, a look at American character. On the one hand, Tocqueville uh, liked America and certainly liked Americans and praised their character. Um, on the other hand, he was skeptical, skeptical about some of their tendencies. Um, both the praise and the and the criticism had to do with sort of the flip side of the, the virtues of Americans and the flip side. I mean, Americans were, loved freedom, and that was good. That led to certain things. Uh, but they were also lovers of equality, which in itself was very good. But they were sort of impassioned lovers of equality, Tocqueville thought. And that had some consequences that were not that good. Um, and, and so, you know, when we speak of the American character today, I think, generally speaking, especially uh, non-Americans will say things like Americans are very individualistic, you know, they're independent, uh, they may be even tough guys or seem like they are. Uh, they like to do things their own way and so on. And I think Tocqueville saw that. I mean, that was clearly true. That had to do mostly with their love of freedom. So, for example, they love to form associations, and we still do this. And it's very odd, especially for Europeans, to come here and see us forming bowling leagues, you know, uh, the 1987 uh, Blue Camaro Lovers of America to, uh, you know, churches, of course, and synagogues and, and schools and all sorts of private associations. This was a very good thing, Tocqueville thought. This kind of formation of these associations, it was a manifestation of freedom which led to a certain kind of patriotism that wouldn't exist if you relied simply on the sort of social condition of equality that he kept reflecting on. The problem with that, Tocqueville thinks, is that that, that leads such human beings, or such Americans, um, potentially towards despotism. In other words, they're much more willing, because they're so independent from one another and don't seem to need one another and don't support one another, they are much more willing to fall into, for example, the centralized state that, that, that he talks about. In other words, in, in, in the contemporary world, I think there's some truth to that. Uh, you become dependent on these forces outside of yourself, which you now are calling public, whether it's the welfare system, for example, or social security, or, or, or making sure that someone else, if you have a flood in Mississippi, you declare it a dis federal disaster area so people from New York and Wyoming can pay for it. Uh, that is a vice, Tocqueville thinks, and that vice Americans are prone to, and that has to do with this sort of love of equality that leads to a certain kind of individualism, which isn't always a good thing. Um, that's why he focuses a lot on the solution to that problem, is making sure that, that Americans continue to love freedom. And I think they, I, I'm, 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 I'm an optimist in this, I think Tocqueville read it right, uh, and, and, and I think that even though many of the things he said could happen, have happened, I still think that Americans are both independent and ultimately self-governing, meaning they're able to govern their passions, including this passion for equality. And, and, and what allows them to do that, or what gives them the, uh, the weapons with which to do that is, is, is their love of liberty, which they claim to have still. Dr. Henry Christ.